Uh, we've talked a lot about Evan Bouchard, but can you talk about the pairing of Nurse and Bouchard? One, what it means to keep them together and allow that chemistry to grow, and two, the growing number of minutes that they've been able to play in important situations. Well, they've been a solid pair. You just, they, uh, you know, they, they are playing in like some, some tough spots for us, critical times of the game. Bouchard, we've talked about him. He's come along and played very well. Nursey's picked up right where he's left off. Um, so they're, they're just a real dependable pair. I would call them a really good two-way group because they defend well, but they also move the puck well. And uh, they have some, some weight to them. They can play, play harder on the front of our net, so they've been a good pair. You mentioned on Saturday that you're tinkering around with the fourth line. Looks like you're going with the same lineup, so Benson is in again. What is the identity that you're looking for out of that fourth line? We're looking for some energy, just, just to get out and see if we can have a little bit of an impact. We realize, depending on how the game goes, they don't get a lot of minutes, but we need, a, we need uh, however minutes, many minutes they get, they need to, they need to make sure we, there's no loss in energy when we go on the ice there. So we'll continue to tinker around with it, but you know, we went last game, they were all right. You know, we'll give it another go tonight. When uh, Adam Larson left, there was some concern in the market. They, you know, here's a really ender is gone, and the, 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 the defending part of Edmonton's defense is going to sag. Uh, are you not really seeing that uh, through the first uh, seven games of the year? Well, Larson, he, we used him in a lot of tough. So he was a good defender. He's still, you know, he's still a good defender. He's a good player, but uh, sometimes things change. You know, we've, uh, we've kind of changed that middle pair between Keith and CeCe, they've come in and done a real steady job for us, so uh, we've been able to overcome you know, the loss of Lars. That second pairing has been fairly huge in that respect, because if, yeah. if they weren't good, you guys would be in a bit of trouble? Well, they're good veteran players. The only people that didn't think you were going to be good is you guys, right? Everybody else, we wouldn't have got them unless we thought we were going to be good. We're, we're fine with them. You're the only guys that didn't think they were going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, not all of us. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. It's just like just like when you guys throw things out there, it's not everybody. You're you're speaking for a collective, not not everybody. Uh, Dave, you played against Kevin Lowe, uh, whose name number oh. go in the rafters. Uh, I guess, tell me what it was like. What kind of defender was he to play against? Well, he was. I look at back in those mid '80 teams where you know the. You had Gretzky, Messier, Anderson, Curry. I mean, just he was one of those one of those guys. And you know, you don't. Kevin's name was predominant in winning in those years, but he would be classed as a. If I was the coach back then, he would be a glue guy on our team. He did all the dirty jobs. There's there's players that get the you know the high octane offense, all that, but. There's players that had to kill penalties. There's players that had to just be good defenders. And Kevin was, to me, was the ultimate team player on that in that group. So, uh, you know, I've got to know Kevin better since I've been in Edmonton here. Uh, he was the epitome of a winner as a player, and he's an unbelievable person. He's an unbelievable person. Uh, what he's done to help this franchise is immeasurable. So. I'm glad to see he's getting his due this week. So something about hockey as a sport, every championship team I could think of has that defenseman, you know, mm -hmm. that, that guy that does all those things you just described. Is it, yeah. Why is that guy sort of a prerequisite, you know, the Brooks Orpik or Matty Nordstrom or whoever they were, why is that guy a prerequisite in our sport? You know, it's funny. I, uh, I was telling Matty an old story yesterday about, an old GM and some old players. We were just talking about different kinds of players. And I, I asked the old GM years ago why he paid a checker that much money. And the GM said to me, because they make us win. Guys like that, they make you win. Like you can have, you got to have good players, but you got to have players that play in the trenches that allow you to win. And Kevin was a player that made teams win. Do you have a friendly wager between yourself and Ron France tonight? Since <laughs> he's your good friend. Uh, no, I, I would say we would keep that the personal side out of it. But uh, there's uh, we we talk quite often, and 
just as friends, but it's uh, he's got a his job for his to get his team up and going, and I've um, got the job here to try to make sure our team's ready. So it'll be a fun game. But to know, I know a lot of people over there now. I'm, I'm glad they've got things up and going. They've done a great job. And, but once you get on the ice, it's it's no different than brothers play against each other. It's about winning. So. There's a, it's a big league, 32 teams. Do you pay a little bit more attention to Seattle because you were working for Seattle? Uh, I think everybody's paid a little more attention to them this year just because they're so new. They're, they're, everybody's wondering how it was going to go. And I had a little insight early. I, I knew it was going to be a really good franchise early just by the way they were going about things. So I'm not surprised at it at all. They're, uh, they're up and going, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's like the shiny new toy. Everybody wants to see it and uh, see how it's doing. And uh, I'm no different than that. Thank you.